Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be responding to the YouTuber No Bullshit, which some of you may be familiar with, and just to get it out of the way, I don't have any real problems with No Bullshit. I'm not really a fan, not saying his shit isn't good, but I'm just not a regular watcher of his. But I wanted to respond to his recent video on Boogie2988, mostly being more of a fan of Boogie. Now, this is just my opinion, of course, not trying to throw shade at no bullshit, but there was a lot in this video that I simply didn't agree with. The beginning of his video I don't really have any problems with, it just comes a little later in the video, but I'ma show the intro anyway for context, of course. So let's just start up this video and get it over with, shall we? Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we're talking about Boogie2988, or more famously known as Francis, the funny neckbeard character on YouTube. Boogie's recently been circling around on the trending page with his video called Today's the Day, Surgery Time. We'll get to that later, but first, I want to let you guys know that I'm going to tread lightly here with Boogie. This is not going to be your typical hit piece or a full-on teardown at all. No, today I'm going to go over Boogie, who he is, and the recent controversies he's gotten into. And we're going to end things on this week's video, where he goes over details about his gastric bypass surgery, which just happened this week. I'm going to still, of course, add in my award-winning comments and criticism along the way, but I want to let you guys know right off the bat that I don't hate this guy. He's made some mistakes, sure, but he's nowhere near as heartless and vile as the SJWs or other people we've had on the show. Alright, well, so far it's not bad, nothing I don't really agree with here like I said. Let's see what else he has to say. With that said, let's get into it. Let's get back into the fun and the insults. Boogie2988 is such a fat ass. Am I right? <laughs> JK, LOL. But really, I say that in jest, but the thing is, one of my first problems with Boogie is the fact that he's sort of become the fat YouTuber, which is much different than where he started here on the website. Well, I mean, I don't think this is the first time he's been given that label before. I mean, this is going to be anecdotal here, but I remember when asking friends in the past if they've seen or heard who Boogie was, they respond with, oh, the fat guy with the glasses, right? That screams and yells. Like, he was known as a fat YouTuber already, he was already established as one, right? Uh, unless memory serves me wrong, but I mean, whatever, that's just, that's just splitting hairs. When Boogie came into the spotlight five or so years ago, he was known for his funny joke videos where he would play the character Francis, a big, fat neckbeard type, who played video games in his mom's basement and shit like that. In fact, at the time, some didn't even know it was a character. He was that good. What really helped was, of course, Boogie looked the part, and him embracing that with the humor made for some great videos. Where's my Mountain Dew? Uh, what are you talking about, man? No, where's my Mountain Dew? I keep it in the microwave! Boogie made loads of Francis videos where he would go on little hissy fits about Mountain Dew and other stereotypical neckbeard things, and they got wildly popular. Check this clip out. Do you I look like I'm thirsty for Fago? Are you thirsty for Fago? Yeah. Are you thirsty? Mmm! <laughs> And these videos used to be a lot of fun. I mean, there wasn't much to them. A funny voice, Mountain Dew, a big fat guy yelling. But it was good for a laugh every now and then. And it certainly got Boogie paid with all the views he was racking in. Not to mention amassing over 4 million subscribers to date. But while Boogie's channel has grown over the years, things have changed a lot there content-wise. Well, yeah, if you're on YouTube for over 5 years and are getting bigger and bigger and making it your job at this point, then yeah, you're going to start expanding on your channel, exploring new ideas with videos, branch out, and break up the monotony once in a while. I don't see anything wrong with that. Originally, he filmed his sketches in a single camera, almost scripted style. But over time, he went more and more towards filming vlog-style, ranting-type videos. He still occasionally throws a Francis video in there for nostalgia's sake, but I would say that character and that era of his career are effectively over. Currently, Boogie has evolved into a vlogger and video game streamer, which is fine. Those genres can be great, but unfortunately for Boogie, vlogging can take a toll on people with certain personality types. It takes a lot of strength and confidence to hold frame and vlog stuff on camera every day. If you don't have that, people will start to notice your problems and issues right away. It could even lead to the vlogger's downfall, as we've seen before with channels like Toby Turner and Daddy05, and others you may not have even noticed because they just faded away. Well, there are severe differences betwixt those channels and Boogie. I mean, 
Boogie is just opening up about shit, and yeah, he's getting personal with things, but he isn't involved in child abuse or involved with rape allegations. Like, the people that you mentioned got caught red-handed doing wrong shit, and then it escalated because they handled the situation poorly. To my knowledge, Boogie hasn't done anything wrong or to the level of where those YouTubers you mentioned take it. So, unless Boogie just decides to prank children or start harassing women, him doing vlogs in in general isn't going to lead to his demise as a YouTuber. In fact, the exact opposite has been happening to him. That's some pretty positive feedback, is it not? Like, I'm sorry, but the problems that Boogie may have do not come close to either of those YouTubers. I'm gonna find my goddamn Mountain Dew. Yeah, did you drink my Mountain Dew? Did you drink my Mountain Dew? But before we get to the big obvious problem that's come out in Boogie's vlogs, him being overweight, of course, let's talk about a few others I've noticed that not too many people are talking about. Here's a clip of Boogie talking about what happened to him at VidCon this year. If this doesn't come across like one of my normal videos, it's because I'm very, very anxious. I'm very anxious after what happened. I've been anxious about what happened three months before it happened. I've been anxious ever since. So uh, this is gonna be a very hard video to make, but I, 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 I do think it's important. Wow, this guy's obviously suffering from crippling anxiety. And that sucks, I know. I have trouble in live settings as well, but I don't tell everyone about it in my videos. That's the real kicker here. Boogie is also an oversharer. He thinks he needs to tell everyone everything in his vlogs. Maybe he's doing it to cope or something and that's fine, but I wouldn't recommend it. I say keep your issues and your private life private. Talk about video games or whatever other stuff you used to talk about, Boogie. Okay, so you want him to not talk about the stuff he's going through because you'd rather listen to him talk about video games instead. I mean, that's what you're saying, right? I mean, look, I understand wanting to see more of his usual content, but I mean, if he wants to go into a more private matter about his life and talk about it and share it with people... He's free to do so. To remember, he has 4 million subscribers, which is a shit ton of people, and those people are going to want to know what's going on with him. They're going to want to know the details, and obviously, people care about him to want to know. He's been focusing on his weight because he's currently doing things to change it, and it's been a thing he's had to struggle with his whole life. I mean, when it comes to someone's health, I don't know about you, no bullshit, but I care more about their health and current condition than what they think on a video game. I think one more important than the other. I don't know about you, but I can wait on what he has to say about a game. The next problem that Boogie has is people-pleasing. He always tries to be so PC and down the middle. It's pretty pathetic. Um, I'm sorry, what's pathetic about that? Oh no, he tries to be more middle-grounded and nuanced and not take staunch positions on certain things. How pathetic! Like, I'm a guy who tries to add nuance when possible, or at least try to. Like, I think Boogie knows that you can't please everyone. But he tries to be nice and respectful to people regardless of positions. Like, how is that a negative thing? Like, why are you making that a negative attribute? I think it's tied to his anxiety because he just always seems like he's afraid to piss people off. Look here. And doing a panel like that, I've done hundreds of panels now at this point, and I'm very comfortable doing it, and I'm comfortable talking about the topic. But what made me nervous about this is when I discovered that one of my panel panelists uh, was a notable feminist by the name of Anita Sarkeesian. <laughs> And I was just afraid that we would clash there. I was afraid that I would do something or say something that would upset her. Uh, you know, we philosophically disagree in some small areas, but in general, we have some of the same ideas. Even with Anita Sarkeesian, the worst of the worst, Boogie still feels the need to try and please her. Maybe he's not aware of how horrible and toxic she is, but still. Okay, well, I think the fact that he got nervous showed that he did indeed know about the shit with Anita. He was nervous because Anita is a controversial person on the internet, and it could go bad for him. Because we've seen with more bigger and professional YouTubers like PewDiePie or JonTron, or even Toby Turner and Daddy of Five, hell, even throw some Onision in there while you're at it, we've seen all these YouTubers get fucked because of controversy. And I'm pretty sure he wanted to avoid that shit like the fucking plague. Because there is a difference of just talking about random drama on YouTube and being involved with a controversial issue, and that can make or break you. 
But honestly, I think that should show how respectful Boogie is because to even Anita, he was willing to be polite and respectful and not wanting to step on her toes and not stoop to her level. If anything, it painted Anita in a more negative light because of how cordial Boogie was being to her. So if anything, that was more of a smart move on Boogie. Boogie seems to always play it safe with everyone, and that's fine. Well, it would be if he didn't have all these other issues dragging him down too. As if the oversharing coupled with anxiety and people pleasing wasn't enough. Boogie's also got his obesity to deal with, and that really seems to have become an unending struggle on his channel. While it started out with a video here and there about his weight, admitting he overeats and stuff, over the years these fat videos have become more and more frequent and prominent. And that's really why I say he's become the fat YouTuber. Not because he is fat, but because his whole channel is him talking about being fat. What's up? Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie2988 coming at your live once again through the power of the internet. This is a video I just want to get off my chest. Um, just get out of my head. I know a lot of you guys are getting tired of the surgery videos and the weight loss videos right now, but honestly, right now, I'm just consumed by it. So I hope that you can bear with me because it's the only type of content crea content I want to create right now because it's the only thing I can think of. And the constant display and discussion of all of Boogie's problems has really made his channel into a depressing train wreck. I don't subscribe to him anymore, but it seems like that's all he talks about. It's certainly all you'll find him trending about. Anxiety drama and mostly his being overweight videos. Yeah, but for good reason. Like, the video you used as an example of him talking about it so much is a current video literally a few days ago before he went into surgery. And you're complaining that he wants to talk about it? To focus on it? Well, no shit. The surgery that he went through will help him in his weight loss, and it was a thing that just recently happened to him. I mean, this is clearly important. It's clearly something that will affect him in a huge way. So it only makes sense that he'd want to focus on it and talk about it. And that brings us to this week's surgery video. Let's check it out. Tomorrow's surgery day. And for those of you who are worried, I have two things to say. Number one, if you are worried and you want to know, you want to know what's going on, uh, there's two Twitter accounts you can follow. You can follow my wife at Des2988. And you can also follow me at Boogie at uh, Boogie2988. Uh, and if you follow the two Twitter accounts, I will live tweet the entire thing. I'll let you guys know when I'm out of the, the surgery and let you guys know everything went well. He really seems to be into putting this surgery out there. Who the fuck live tweets a surgery anyway? That's just weird. Seems like very odd behavior to me. What's even more troubling to me is he has a wife. No, really. It's the comfort and ease he has with sharing all this. Because people support him on it. Just, just look at the views and the likes and the comments. Like, he's clearly having positive feedback on this so I'd imagine with him seeing much more support than negativity makes it more comfortable for him to share this information to his fans. Like I'm sure at first he wasn't comfortable doing it but the more and more he kept doing it and the more and more he got used to it the more it becomes more of a natural thing for him. Take a look at this picture for example off his Twitter. Jesus Christ dude have some decency. I'm sorry, but what is indecent about Boogie in this photo? You know this was after he got the surgery, right? Like, I'm sorry people don't look the best right after surgery, but... Well, I mean, Boogie doesn't even look that bad, so what is it? Because he's shirtless and his man tit is showing? Oh no, not Boogie's man tits. We've never seen them before. So again, no bullshit, how is he being indecent here in this photo? Because... The point of it was to show that he was okay. He was with his dog to cheer him up and everything went okay with the surgery. So I ask again, what was indecent about this photo? I'm really starting to think people are watching him and his channel because he is such a train wreck. It's like a disaster that's disturbing to look at, but you just can't turn away. So his wife who took the picture of him and shared it on her Twitter and him sharing it on his Twitter to show people he's fine, is somehow also showing what a train wreck he is? What What is the logic in that? So he's a train wreck because he shifts his focus on something more important than appeasing fans that want to see his old shtick? Well, it seems to me like he's just getting his priorities straight. Like, this reminds me of when fans of Angry Joe flipped out on him for shifting gears on his channel and wanting to take a break from doing his angry reviews. Like, to me, it's the same premise here, and ultimately, I have the same opinion they can do whatever they want on their channels because that's their channels. Boogie can do and talk about whatever he wants on his channel. The customer's not always right if you catch my drift. 
Not to be too harsh, but it's almost like he's in the freak show at the carnival. I think they even used to have big fat guys as the world's fattest man or something like that. He could be YouTube's fattest man, probably. Okay, so mock the man who just got surgery to try and fix his weight problem and make fun of him for his weight problem. Well, I'm starting to see why people aren't taking too kindly to this video. It just seems like you're lacking empathy for Boogie right now and are just complaining about him for no good reason. Like, I, I just don't get it. There's also the fact that this whole surgery video series and the live tweeting thing Boogie is doing, it seems very cash grabby. Like he's really milking this thing for attention and YouTube money. It's kind of sad to see the guy resort to something like this. Um, proof? I mean, your channel is called No Bullshit and you just made a bullshit claim. Of course you went for the easiest claim too, that claim that most people on the internet love to do with bigger YouTubers and that's painting them to look greedy. It's been done with PewDiePie, it's been done with Markiplier, it's been done with almost every bigger YouTuber. Like, you really want us to go with this narrative that Boogie, of all people, Boogie has just been hatching this diabolical scheme to sucker people into watching his videos by using sympathy in order to get more money? Is that, is that really what you're insinuating? I mean, okay, but I'd like to see some evidence to that first, if you don't mind. Tricks with, right? Like, if you want to put it up, if you want to put it up on, like, your nose, and you can... Ow. Ow. In the end, Boogie's got a lot of issues that he's obviously trying to work out publicly. Well, I don't know what your problem was with that. That made me chuckle a little, so... Not the worst thing in the world, but it's definitely not my cup of tea. I would never bore my audience with details about my personal life. But hey, I never have a problem finding funny stuff to talk about. I guess maybe Boogie does. Well, you don't have to. No one's saying you do. Others want it, though, and clearly to others, including me, this isn't boring. It's boring to you, which is fine. You don't have to like the side shit you don't have to be interested in it you don't have to give a shit but really if you don't want to watch his shit to quote spoonie if you don't like it don't fucking watch it don't fucking watch it that or he feels the need to tell everyone everything because he's an oversharer and a people pleaser. Regardless, I hope the best for the dude. I hope his surgery helps and he can get down to a healthy weight someday soon. I also hope his anxiety disorder gets better. And most of all, I hope his content gets better. Oh yeah, equally as important. Because keeping you entertained is just as important as his health, right? Oh no, no that's more important to you. The old Francis videos used to be so much fun. Now Boogie's channel is just depressing. A shadow of the fun channel that once was. What do you guys think? Is Boogie2988 breaking down? Do you miss the Francis videos? Will his surgery help him get better one day? Comment below and thanks for watching No Bullshit. See y'all next time. So there you go folks, that's my response to this. And look, again, I want to make it clear that I'm not trying to pick a fight with No Bullshit or throw shade his way or whatever. I just really disagree with his video on this and I felt like I had to say something because what you were saying in this video just didn't sit right with me. So you can take from this what you will, but it's just our opinion at the end of the day, guys. In any case, I'm curious as to what you guys think about this. Please feel free to comment below. Thanks to everyone so much for watching this. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And as usual, I'll catch all of you guys later in my next video.